You talk about England there, Gareth Southgate's just, uh, just about to qualify, we think, for the Euro 2020 finals. They went very close last year, didn't they, in the World Cup to the semi-final. Do you think he's got a squad and, and a way of playing now that can actually get England winning a trophy? Well, there's always a lot of hard work and a little bit of fortune uh, to actually win a major trophy. But I think Gareth has definitely took the England team forward um, on achieving that. I think he's done a great job introducing all the kids. I think England have got some very good young players at this moment of time. Um, but I just hope he doesn't go too far away from what got his success in the World Cup. And a lot of those players uh, did exceptionally well when the pressure was on. Uh, but because of the under-17s and the under-20s winning the uh, World Cup, hopefully we've got some very good young players coming from them squads and just add that little bit extra quality where England could go on and do really well in the European Championship finals. Yeah, because obviously Deli Ali and Jesse Lingard missed out on this squad, didn't they, having played in the World Cup. Do you think there's still a route back in for those guys? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Deli Ali for me is a top class player. Uh, Jesse uh, seems a bit jaded since he came back from the World Cup, but I think there's quite a few players uh, have looked a bit like that. You know, Harry Kane, um, not at the best of his form. Deli Ali, like we've said. Jesse Lingard, Marcus Rashford, uh, they're, they're not quite firing on the sort of energy that they finished uh, the season and then went into the World Cup. Uh, and so it's been a slow start for those sort of boys. But, it, it, yeah, you know, going from a season, going into the World Cup, going into another season, it's always really difficult to pick up your form again. Marcus, been a lot of questions about whether he's better coming in off the wing or playing as a centre forward. Do you think he can be Manchester United centre forward for years to come? I think he's still got a little bit of knowledge to know about being a centre forward. Um, I think it's a natural game for him coming off, uh, especially the left side, but off the right side as well. Uh, but I think going through the middle of the park, I just think Marcus. Uh, needs to know the game that little bit better where it's not always run through it's about build up play and bringing midfield players into the game uh, and so that's where Marcus could maybe just improve his game a little bit Just a quick word about United because obviously the form hasn't been great at the start of the season the pressure is on Ole do you think that the board will stick with Ole and do you think he'll be able to turn this around? Yes I do because everybody went with the policy that want to encourage the young boys coming through the ranks uh, that's exactly what United have done I think they've maybe uh, allowed too many good experienced players to leave the club without replacing them and that's why it's left them a little bit short Do you think then in January there's time to do a bit more business? I always think it's really difficult to find top class players who are prepared to leave the club and join a club um, in the January window, you know, normally you have to wait for the summer to be able to really add uh, quality players. Um, but, you know, United have got to work at that because we, we know that uh, we need to improve to be where Manchester United want to be. So, you know, January is going to be an important part of the season. Thanks, Brian. Okay. Thanks for your time.